Hello everybody! I'm a termite currently. No, I'm not a Mr. Shinxy, but I am a termite actually. But um, I just need to get all the way up here as I continued off last episode. The termite's tower or toppers. Toppers uh, tower, if it, that's what they want to call it. An extra life right here. And you can climb up here all the way up. And here you get your final jiggy of the get of this world. Normally, when you collect that tent jiggy, you will um, see Banjo do a funny dance. But because I'm termite, you can't see it do see him do that. One of those termite's powers: you can jump at any any far down, and you don't hurt yourself. So that's quite useful. This is the exit pad, M Ban this is the exit pad um, Bottles was talking about at the beginning, I think, of the last episode. Um, you stand on it, and you get warped straight back to the entrance to the world. Glunty's magic stops you from taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. So, basically... He didn't really explain that well, but you can go back into the world and collect all a hundred again. So it's just like an extra challenge. But as you see in the top right corner, it still says a hundred. That's just because of my total. It just counts as my total. Right. Second. Oh. Hey, where did you get that? Those shorts. I want them. Ugh, they're repeating themselves already. Moment magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Yeah, every time you get too far away from the world you transformed into, the creature, uh, as soon as you get too far away, you transform back into Banjo Kazooie. M magical gone. Let's go back to Bear and Bird now. Okay, you cannot climb uh, that mountain there. You cannot climb it if you're not um, the termite. So make sure you're the termite and you can get that jiggy. These are the fabled note doors. As you see, it's got a note on it. Oh no, it's got the number 50 on it. You decide which has it got on. Right, get too close to it and bottles will speak to you, as annoying as that is. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. Not that simple. But to open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay, I didn't know it was low, but... Okay, I didn't know Grunty actually had any musical skills. Because if she has musical spells, she must be able to play some instruments. Hey, go up to it and you'll see the same dance as if Banjo... That dance, you'll see if Banjo collects all the ten nuts. 10 jiggies, but you'll also see if Banjo opens a note door. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, your first and last. <laughs> Creepy lot. <laughs> I come up to this cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same colour to create a shortcut. Yeah, these are basically the shortcuts in the game because Grunter's lair is quite big. There's another Mumbo's token. So if you see another purple one, Activate it. Well, if you see another cauldron, activate it and hope you create a shortcut. Even though we won't be doing that soon. Ah, the next um, jiggy pad thing. Hey, just press A. Oh, bottles are speaking. Damn you, bottles! So move, so move pieces that you've already put down. Press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Oh, when you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Well, it is once more, even though it didn't say that because the cutscene interrupts it. But, hey, Treasure Trove Cove. The beach of this game. So, just head up here, and you'll be in a new area. Well, of course, because you haven't been here before. But, anyway, um, jump down here into the sewer pipe. I know the water's going out, so there's prob- oh. I would hate to see what's behind that grate. 
great if this is the sewers. <sighs> that gave me shivers just thinking about it. Oh yeah, them enemies. Destroyed by just a simple attack. Just too easy, basically. So, jump up here. And do another flip-flap jump thingy. Look at you, I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. more. Yeah, they're basically the invincibility feathers. So, collect them and you'll be invincible for as many feathers as you get. But we'll get into that later. You've activated the magic cauldron. Find two the same colour to create a shortcut. Yeah, that's a brown one, unfortunately. So, um, this is brown. Oh, no, it's red. Yeah, red. That red one, um, you need to find another red one to be able to, um, use that shortcut. But that won't be for a long time. And I really mean a long time. It'll take ages to find that one. Actually, quite near the end of the game. Okay, then. So, go down here go through this underwater tunnel, go up here, ah, the great music of Yorwood, there's a Mumbo's token right behind it, you cannot see it unless you go into, um, zoom site or whatever it is, so make sure you see it, make sure you get it, right. this is Click Clock Woods puzzle, and you see there's a lot of pieces missing there, and you might have guessed this is actually the last world you go to. So why they put it so early in the game, actually, I think they put it so early in the game because of the beta version. Um, if you've seen any fan videos or anything, uh, Clanker's Cavern, which we're just about to, actually we're going into that quite far from now, but Clanker's Cavern is near here. So uh, people think that that Clanker was going to be a real shark, because you'll find out later it's actually a metal shark. So you'll find out that well, if you see some certain v beta videos, you'll see that it's actually supposed to be Fungi Forest out of the, um, out of Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. We'll talk to her later, well now, but if you see there's all this fungus growing on the walls, but in Click Clock Woods, there is no fungi growing on the trees. So that's a hint that it actually was going to be Fungi Forest. Right, enough with the beta explaining. I'm doing a walk through here. Right. Hello there, young ones. I'm Ventilda, Grunter's nicest sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunter's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Let's be if you'd like to hear them. Yeah, I'm not going to listen to her, because she just babbles on moanlessly. Or she moans continuously so I'm not going to speak to her but near the end when you face the quiz of Doom I, somehow the name escapes me so I'm just going to call it the quiz of Doom um, you need them secrets if you want to if you it's your first playthrough of the game which I doubt it is you're probably just watching this for fun or something I don't know uh, I don't know what people would why people would be watching it for but right. if you're if you're new to the game and the quiz, it'll be the first time you've ever played the quiz, make sure you take note of Ventilda's secrets. They're very hard to know. Well, it's very hard to guess. Hey, this, my friend, is Treasure Trove Cove. Ahoy there, this be Treasure Trove Cove. Like I just said, there'll be two new moves for ye to find. Yeah, two new moves. Hey, oh, the shark! Shark, shark, shark! I just got a blue ginger, but shark, shark, shark! Snacker t smells tasty dinner. Okay, you can defeat Snacker if you don't want him to be in the water, and I just failed at defeating him, but if you fire six eggs at him, he goes down really easily. Well, not easily, but six eggs. These are crabs, they walk sideways and they hurt a lot, but just do two normal attacks and they're fine, or just one Kazooie attack, because they're quite, quite weak to that. Um, okay, sorry, I was, I'm, I'm not, I don't really know where the Mumbo's tokens are in this world that well, so I'm just going to use, like, a list to help me. Hey, this Nipper's Beach, you find nothing about Nipper's help. Help us then, crustacean brain. Grrr, cheeky Bernie's feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, Shellhead. 
Because we sounded a bit street talk there, but still. Hey. Ah, oh, you hurt nipper. Makes me mad. This is basically the boss of this world, um, for Shrove Crowwolf. Even though um, he's uh, at first often to be a good guy, but then Kazooie makes him be a bad guy. But he can't even move anywhere. How could he help us? I just defeat him by when he stops snapping, going up to him, jumping on you in a normal Kazooie peck, going behind him, you get a Mumbo's token, and then jump in his shell to finish him off. Because surely he'll be in here. Oh, this is actually the end of the episode, so I'm going to stop right here. Goodbye.